It's time for revenge. Hoorah! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for revenge. Alright, what is going on, guys? It is Lachlan here, and welcome back to whew, a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Last episode, we're coming off a bit of an L here, alright? Just a little bit of an L. And uh, I want to go ahead and thank everybody who left a comment, a nice comment on the last episode of Ark Survival. But I tell you what, it's not about how hard you get hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. No, I did that wrong. It's not how hard you can hit. It's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And guess what? We're going to move pretty far in this episode. So, uh, off screen, I've done a lot of rebuilding of my items. As you guys know, I lost pretty much all of them. Um, I went down to check on the Mosasaurus. He did, in fact, wake up. He's still walking, or I guess swimming, uh, down in the depths, as you can, as you can see right here. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go back. He is a little hurt, however, and uh, that is because I did fire a lot of Trank Arrows into him yesterday to try and get the tame. That obviously didn't end up working. Holy, why fog? Why? So, the off-screen preparation that I talked about. Well, I did go and try to tame some Mantas. Uh, now you'll see how that worked out in a second, but, uh, as far as... Burp. Uh, item builds went. I uh, went ahead and uh, cooked up two chowders, uh, both there, right there. And uh, I think I've got some. I think I saw an egg up here just before. Whoa! What we need to? Can we remove the blockage? Oh, there's an egg. Oh no, that is just a big, big pile of shit. <laughs> Sick. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I grabbed an egg and chucked it in the fridge. Um, but for today's episode, because I'm not going to be able to go in with the fish meat because that just didn't tame the guy last time, I'm going to go down with not only some cooked prime meats, but I'm also going to go down with uh, one Quetzal kibble. So, welcome back everybody to Lachlan's Cooking Show. So, um, I've got uh, three prime meat jerkies here. Uh, this actually ran out, but it's still making some jerkies as well. I need more spark powder. Um, so, that's doing that job. And uh, while I guess the rain's going down, we'll go ahead and make our quetz kibble so this should be exploiting okay so the big thing for these guys is the hundred meteor berries Me meteor berries meteor berries that is required for each one only three rock carrots that's kind of low and 120 fibers so i'm actually going to go out and uh, i'm going to grab my sickle actually before i go out there i put it back away because i didn't think i need it um but this should hopefully not take too long to cook i'm hoping you know a man can dream and then as far as materials and uh, whatnot for the Mosasaurus. I've got 50 Trank Arrows, should be more than enough. And uh, I'm honestly just hoping we don't get another tilt this episode. Uh, statistics should say I should stay away from the ocean, but I don't like statistics, so I stay in the ocean. Deal with it. So like you would have seen last episode, the Mosasaurus is only level two, so we're gonna make sure that uh, we don't waste too much kibbles, because Quetzal kibble is very expensive to make, and uh, I just want this to get like most of it done for me, like out the gate, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's all it is with this stuff right now. Is that not, that's not 100, we need 100 Mijio berries. All right, perfect, three rock carrots. Uh, we need to make sure these things are filled and have one of them only. All right, there we go, fill it up. Uh, now we're gonna need some more fiber in there. Perfect, we'll take the charcoal out and we will light this up like the 4th of July. And I think we've got everything in there. Yep, so that's everything that needs. That'll cook up any second. I'm gonna take these back into the fridge while I wait for that one to cook up. And like I said, the rest I'm gonna feed him are the cooked prime meats. That's better than normal raw meat. So, and that's definitely better than raw fish meat. So uh, hopefully it should prove to be quite a... Uh exciting thing to do. Okay, so that concludes cooking with Lachlan for today's ARC episode, but that's not the big part of, uh, of what's going down. Where, where did Kibble go? Oh, it's just, it looked like invisible there. Uh, I'll take the extra narcotics as well, just in case. Uh, I don't have any stone arrows on me, so that's one thing I'm a little scared about. Put out fire, and I will take these back home. Uh, but yes, uh, it should be you know, a little difficult, hopefully. Uh, I'm just hoping, because I, I can hold on to the Kibble, I can hold on to this food. That was the main problem last time, was the food. Um, now I'm going to show you what I've done off screen as far as tames go. And holy crap, was it a tilt session? As barbaric as it is, I do need some meat here, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill these things uh, because Nessie actually got really damaged last episode. So, got to go ahead. And I feel really bad killing these guys, but I'm sorry, guys. Just need the meats. All right, guys. So welcome to the team back. We have Jaws again. I got a new Jaws uh, for Vic, but he may die this episode, and then Pink Panther as well because he's a nice pink one. And, uh, look, here's my idea of how this is going to work. The Mosasaurus is very low HP. If I try to get a couple Tranquil Shots into it, it's going to die. So, my method for getting around it 
is to have him eat the pink panther. Literally, Mosasaurus bait, because the only way they heal is by eating. So, it's going to be an interesting episode. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. If not, we're coming back with Jaws, and Jaws is going to feed himself, and I'll get Vic another one. Um, but yeah, these guys are down here, and I actually think I might... I could actually do this whole bait and switch thing, but I do, at the end of the day, need to feed him this because he needs food. I, I, I can't stress that enough. The guy needs food. He's gonna die. You'll see any second now. And I tried to look up to see, like, what kind of regeneration rates the, uh, the monsters get, or the... I'm gonna call them Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, no, the, uh, the things get, and that's... I only get it when they kill things, so. Um, you're the sacrificial lamb today's episode, Pink Panther. Do us well, proud. And, uh, he should still be here, because I wasn't here not too long ago. And that looks like him right there. Hey, dude, you want some food? Alright, come here, dude. See, look, you can see the gashes all over him. How bad is it? Okay, we gotta watch it. You're like a one bang on this guy. I wish I... I was like, oh, I won't need a spyglass. No, I do need a spyglass. Alright. He doesn't look that bad. Like, he doesn't look great. It looks like he might have eaten a few things down here, honestly. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Split blood. Split blood. Alright, let's get him in here. Now the sharks are going to come for me. Which is what I'm scared of. Yep, there's little Brucey right there. You see Brucey? See Brucey? Can you attack him, Mosasaurus? I don't want Brucey in here. Really don't want Brucey in here. Alright, we have to sprint out. That's my boy! Woohoo! Ah, I feel like Brucey wasn't here. I feel like I could kill Brucey and get him to feed on him. Look, I think he just ate something. Because I'm trying to monitor his health and it's all visual, you know? Like, his health is all visual. He looks very hurt. He was very hurt, like, when I was killing him before. He was at, like, a quarter or less, I think, HP. Uh, where'd Brucey go? Brucey's left, right? He might actually get stuck here. Does he get stuck there? Looks like he gets stuck there. Which would actually be low-key perfect. Um, my only concern is the fact that he's low HP and I can't just chuck like a health pot down like you know this isn't Minecraft uh, he's lost he's lost the he's lost the you know the, the seek I need to get rid of Brucey can't you attack him Mosasaurus like what the fudge dude honestly I think he's healed up a bit because he looks like he's lost a little bit of that blood it's friggin this guy oh we got another Brucey great perfect eat one of them for crying out loud why eat me fish are friends not food Except they're sharks, then they're food. I should also remind you at this stage that you are a passive. Okay, you do not go anywhere without my permission. I don't want any things that happened last time, that's for sure. Brucey's aren't following. He looks like he's got a decent amount of uh, health. It's hard to tell, really. No, I think he's good. I'll monitor it. Even the, the Brucey's stuck, actually, so we can't get in just yet. I'll man fight the shark. As long as the other guy's passive, we should be fine here. Come on, I should get him knocked out, and I should be able to man-fight that, that Megalodon. Easy. Just a little scared of his health. He's taking a little bit more. Alright, Brucey's through. Brucey's through. He's only level 8, though. We're fine. Thank God I got some melee damage. Don't you dare kill Pink Panther, you little fudger. Alright. If only I could give him that food. Alright. Come on now, buddy. You need to knock out before you die. Don't die. Please don't die. He, he is very close to dead. Alright, tactical pink panther feed. This is happening right now. Tactical pink panther feed. Whoa! Okay, then. Alright. Pink... I just need that to get some oxygen. Pink... Uh, no, 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 no. Alright, let's get Brucey in here and kill Brucey first. Alright, this guy mustn't die, though. Please be a low level. Yep, that's fine. Oh, Mosasaurus out the front gate. That's not cool-ish. No, don't go for him. Don't you dare kill Pink Panther. Good. Okay. We need to feed you, Pink Panther. Alright. Do the gods work. Imagine if I killed the Pink Panther. Alright, here we go. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Do it. Yep, eat him. Yep, my permission to eat him. Is he dying over there? Yep, now eat him. Eat him. You gotta eat him, buddy. If you don't eat him, that's literally wasting all my time here. What the fudge, dude? Eat him! Oh, for f Why are you eating him? Oh, You're meant to eat him! Oh, I was probably meant to have him attack him. Oh, now he's run away, and now I have no way of getting him back into the cave. Maybe he chomped a little bit off, I'm hoping. Uh, we have to get back into the cave now as well. Okay, sink down, please. Yep. Yep. Keep going. 
It looks like he's got a, a decent amount more health. Yeah, he's got more health now. Try to aim for... I, okay, it's either it's either he falls asleep or he dies at this stage. One of the two, your choice. Our team or no team? Which team? He, he picked the right one. You picked the right one, buddy. You picked the right one. Okay, now, for getting out of the cave, it's not too hard. Um, uh, we should be fine. Oh, it looks like he actually... Oh, no. Maybe? I think he actually might have eaten him. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, no, this guy should be pretty easy to tame. We're gonna chuck that kibble on him, and then we're gonna chuck a lot of the cooked prime meat. This should be the tame 100%. He's only level 2, so that kibble should do a lot of work on him. Like, I'm thinking at least 80 or 90% or whatever. Who knows? Alright, first kibble down. Didn't do a crazy amount. But it's fine. Okay, that didn't do much at all. That did like... That's like that's where it was at last episode. So this, this, epi this is not over just yet. Raw prime meat better do the distance here. Um, or we could be back at a... At a, at, a, at a really Ebola session here. S session? Wait, he's got full HP. He must have eaten something. Oh, the... the, the, the yeah, the eight. I've got 34 Trank Arrows. I'm just hoping that that's enough raw prime meat. Alright, I think he just ate his first piece of prime meat. Ooh, that did not do much. Okay, so yeah, it goes Quetzal, uh, Kibble, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, and then cooked prime meat. Cooked prime meat is like about 30% better than raw meat. And raw fish meat is just the worst. It's about to take 22 kibbles. The biggest problem is his torpor rate just dropping dramatically. I don't know, guys. This might not be good. This is going to be interesting. If we can try and... Wait, there's sharks down here. I can get the raw prime fish meat from these guys. Come on. Yes, five pieces. Six pieces, seven pieces. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. It's technically better food for him. All right, there we go. Sushi time, boys. Of course, that's unreliable, and we're lucky we even got that. I still have a Lazarus Chatter to get out. Um, so this should be interesting. Um, we might get this. I don't want to say we will because there's a very good chance we might not. But we, there's a good chance we will. Ladies and gentlemen. Resilience is a hard working ability. Quality that a human can have. And today we have proved that we can go the extra mile and tame a mother fudging Moss Asaurus. Welcome to the team, buddy. Great choice, and I'm gonna call you... What should I call him? I didn't really expect this part of the episode. I thought I was gonna fail again. Yo, what's up, dude? I just tamed a Mosasaurus. You just what? I just tamed a Mosasaurus. Oh, fuck you, you did, man. Yeah, I know, right? All right, now the real fun starts, ladies and gentlemen. I have to get out of this place with no tame. So I'm going to pop a Lazzy, all right? Pop a Lazzy. I'm not sweating, all right? And let's see if we can get out of here. Now, you can't ride the guy, all right? He's fully held. Oh, he's not fully healed because I shot him a couple times. I did, like, end up shooting him a lot. Really should have made a saddle and taken it with me. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have to swim all the way back. So I can't ride you. So you just protect me, buddy. Uh, let's not run into any bad people, eh? Hey, dude, you stuck down there? I guess it's not really over just yet. Um, we have to get home. Okay, first predator. Alright, alright. If you could just try to help me fight some of it, Mossy, that'd be great. Uh, not requiring any special actions, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, just a little bite every now and again. That'd be just wonderful. Watch your health, maintain it, all that jazz. Yeah, getting some good hits on the level 8. He's dead. Oh, nice work. Very clean. Oof. Alright. Seems we've alerted the other sharks in the area, though. So we gotta watch out. Still trying to get to the surface, by the way. And I am actually losing health because of the cold. Just want to get rid of this cold debuff. Alright, so we've reached it to the surface. That's half of it. Now we just gotta get home. So I'm just gonna go straight for this bank over here. Hopefully we don't meet any sharks on the way over. Okay, so this is great. We've got itchies that have now swarmed us. And we've got a megalodon in there somewhere. Uh, Mosasaurus doesn't like megalodons. Who actually wins this fight, like, a lot of the time here? Obviously, it's your boy Mossy, but did we make him go away now? No, you're going back in for more, eh? Yeah, you know, you ain't letting that one just sit, eh? Yeah, oh, uh, you killed the coal. Why'd you kill the coal? That's disgraceful. You even killing him, dude? You kill the other shark so much better. Or was that just me who did the hard work last time? Oh, I'm actually still losing health here. Why is he eating all the fishies? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm really low on HP. Yo! When he gets your back, heart emoji. Oh, <sighs> all right. 
Now, are you a land? Like, can you go on the land, Mosasaurus? Like, I don't even know, eh? Can you? It doesn't look like you can. Like, you should be able to. I don't know why you can't. Let's see if you can. I wonder. I think he works like a Nessie. Yeah, you can't go into waters too shallow. Okay, interesting. Ah, <sighs> feels good to have a successful mission. All right, this is where you stay, buddy. I'm gonna come back and get a saddle made for you. Hopefully, it's not too expensive. And you can unlock platforms for those guys. That's gonna be very interesting. Is that like an underwater house? Like, can you build? Like, how does it even work? I mean, sounds interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go quickly check to see the saddle and all whatnot. Um, do I have the kangaroo up here? I had the kangaroo up here at one stage because it was like easy to get back and forth, but it doesn't seem like I do. Thinking back to that as well, I reckon if I didn't bring that kibble, it would have been extremely close with the resources that I bring. I just underestimate how quickly those guys, um, their torpor drops. Like, that guy was mad. He was dropping so quick. So, um, that's just good to have that out of the way finally. And, uh, the rarest and hardest aquatic tame, I believe. Yeah, that's the Mosasaurus. Yeah. So, sick. Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it, shall we? Let's see what saddle we're gonna need for this bad boy. Oh, sorry. Well, I guess let's just see what we can do for it. Oh, it's level 75 to get its saddle alone? What the fuck? What? That's like the last saddle you unlock. Or maybe a Giga first. Giga. Yeah, okay, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the last saddle you get. But, wow, that's kind of really bad. Like, really bad. Well, I guess an unofficial grind to level 75 has, uh just been put in motion that re that really sucks I, I i bust my balls out here to try and get one of the rarest hardest aquatic tames and i can't even ride the damn thing that's heavy because the thing i my little pet peeve with arc right now is that the leveling is so hard to get up like i have to go on like a massive alpha grinds um so that's gonna have to be a thing apparently so yeah i guess at this point guys i really want to ask you guys at home what is the best way for a little lucky to get some levels. Like, I, I know alphas are definitely a good way. High level, like, dinos I've heard a lot are good. Uh, it, crafting things aren't exactly the best. Um, boats back in the day were good, but the XP curve makes it a lot harder. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys, what the hell do I do for XP out here? But Mosasaurus will stay out there. Um, my boy will just stay out there for now. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode right there. Apologies, it was a little bit of a short one, but uh, we accomplished what we set out to do. And unfortunately, we couldn't get that uh, saddle form just yet, but hopefully in the near future we will. If you guys are enjoying the series, let me know the like rating down below. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, please let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.